Today we are replacing my ISP router with a three unit mesh system. I'm going to test out on a three story house and we are going to test out on every corner, even on those hidden spots. We are also going to compare with the router that we have reviewed a few weeks ago, one of the best price for performance routers available in my opinion, so that we can figure out if it's better to go with a mesh system or a router such as this one, which price for performance is one of the best. And I'm just doing this comparison because price-wise, at the moment of the recording, they are more or less the same. Links will be down below. And we are going to jump for the test right away. But before we do, in terms of a mesh system such as the TP-Link Deco X10, we are able to set it up in different ways, but there are two common ways. One of which is to connect one of these units near the router or anywhere that we have a socket for the RG45 Ethernet cable. Connect this unit to the internet via cable and then these two units will connect to this unit via wireless. Now I can connect this one via wireless to this one and then this one to this one and we will have this communication which will give us advantages in some certain scenarios which we will check in just a few moments but in some scenarios will give us more distance. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper. But there is one other way to connect it which is with Ethernet backhaul and that's my favorite and that just means that instead of connecting just one with cable I'm able to connect these two other units with cable as well. So in a house such as mine where I do have different spots with Ethernet cables on my wall. What I do is that I can connect this one to the router, this one to a wall switch with the Ethernet cable and then this one as well with an Ethernet cable on a different location and at this moment what we have is a mesh system but each of these units are powered by the Ethernet signal directly here so they will give us a stronger signal and better performance in terms of speed. But of course we can't achieve this goal every time so what we are going to do is test out both ways and share with you the results so that you can make your mind. Now let's go to the tests and what I did was to first connect just one unit here on the office and to test out the range by its own so that we can compare one single unit with the other router and this will help us to determine in some certain areas where this one will have an advantage or where this will have an advantage. Now right over here on the office on the same room 40 square meters more or less 500 megabytes per second on download which is my connections max. So I would say that probably we will be reaching almost one gigabit with this particular setup. Now moving to the next room just one wall away an area of 80 square meters I'm getting 220 download speed and 80 megabits per second on upload speeds. Now if I go outside to my backyard and if I go halfway I will get about 162 megabits per second download 86 megabits per second upload. If I go to the end of the backyard it's more or less a total of 200 square meters and the funny thing is that I will get 184 megabits per second of download and 137 megabits per second of upload. So it's better than on the halfway and this just because it's easier to get range on this direction here where I do have the windows instead right over there on halfway where I will have a barrier which is this metal door that I've got right over here. So in terms of barriers if we compare with this archer we will see that this one has a lot more stronger penetration than this one here and this will be common on every single scenario but the link will be down below so that you can compare both of them. Moving on with the tests I went to the pool pump shed which is an area that is really difficult so I was about getting not bad speeds at all but there were some weak spots 
spots right over there and this was one of the signs and one of the big differences that i've seen comparing one of these units and one of these not so much on an open area but when we have barriers then we will see that difference and this was another example now still with just one unit i went upstairs and right above of this office i was getting 300 megabits per second on download and 150 megabits per second on upload which was great but just moving to the next door i had no signal at all so this is the limitation that we will have with one of these units with this big area most of it open area just one wall here to the backyard just one wall here to that side over there and then a few indoor walls which are thinner than this one this one is concrete and bricks and whatnot upstairs i do have all of the walls like this one here are a lot stronger than those dry walls that i've got right over here but this is the limitation that i did find with one unit now let's connect the second unit just here upstairs and the results that we will get compared to the last ones is that i will have on the same room 300 megabits per second which is not bad at all and having in mind that at this moment of the configuration i've got one unit here on the basement which is connected via ethernet cable but the second unit on the ground floor is connected only via wi-fi we will test with ethernet in just a few moments but these are the results with wi-fi so moving on if i go to the living room as we did before which is the next room upstairs i was getting about 140 megabits per second downloads and 93 megabits per second on upload so it's a big improvement versus no signal at all with just one unit down below here if i move to the balcony and we are talking about 100 square meters more or less i was getting 67 megabits per second downloads and 83 on uploads and if i go to the kitchen which is one of the hardest areas i was getting about four megabits per second download four on upload so forget about netflix and youtube and whatnot and sometimes i would even lose signal so in terms of the ground floor this was the limitation if you check out the results on this single unit you will see that it has a lot more penetration because i can go to my front yard with this one right over here and I wasn't able I was stopped at the kitchen and it was not far away right next to the fridge and so on so not a great result in terms of penetration now if I connect this second unit on the same spot but with the ethernet cable instead of being connected via wi-fi to the first unit what happens is that we will have an ethernet back all and if I run the test again on the same room without any surprises I was achieving 500 megabits per second download so the maximum of my internet connection on the living room which is just next I was getting about 340 megabits per second on downloads and 140 on upload so a great improvement here on the balcony we jumped to 213 megabits per second downloads and 140 uploads and then moving to the kitchen what happens is that the speed is still very low and sometimes it loses signal so when it catches signal the speed is a bit improved from the four megabits per second download and upload but the problem is not the speed is indeed the coverage when we find many barriers which is the example of the kitchen it has a lot of walls it has the junction of the stairwell it has a lot of things that will block the signal here and this one once again it's stronger and it will reach over there now while i had these two units connected one here and one upstairs i did test out the end off which is really cool now this is basically the device switching between the units and deciding which one has the best signal so what I did was moving from the basement to the ground floor and vice versa I did find signal drops a bit here on the stairs but quickly switches to a better signal now this is not the best and fastest end off that I've seen but the units that I've tested that are a lot better they are a lot more expensive so in a real life situation what happens is that while I was doing a speed test I did notice on these stairs but if I was watching a YouTube video or Netflix or listening to music what would happen is that I would just be fine until I would reach up and then it would connect to the other units and no issues whatsoever so if you are planning to do speed tests then probably this will not be the best but if you are planning to use it normally then 
totally fine. By the way, adding a second unit and a third and a fourth or fifth because we can, it's really easy. We just need to go to the app and then just select add unit and in seconds it's online. I really enjoyed the experience because it was really simple and in terms of the firmware updates, TP-Link is always doing uh, firmware releases so that they improve the units and that was really, really awesome. Now moving to the next test. So we had one unit on the basement, one unit on the ground floor. What I did right now was to connect a third unit on the first floor and the only unit connected with a cable is the unit on the ground floor. So this one here is connected via Wi-Fi and this one here is connected via Wi-Fi. In terms of results, what I was able to achieve was on the same room upstairs, I was getting 92 megabits per second download and 75 uploads. And this is explained because we have more barriers than from the basement to the ground floor. It's more difficult from the ground floor to the upper floor. Now, if I move to a second bedroom, what I do notice is that I do have similar speeds, 94 megabits per second download, 63 uploads. So it's not much of a drop off. It's just one wall away and we are not losing much. Now, if I move to the balcony, I was getting 92 megabits per second download, 56 on upload. So not bad results, having in mind that the maximum is 500. And if I move to the other end on a third bedroom, then we are getting 17 megabits per second download and 7 on upload but with the exception that sometimes I was losing signal and I might have an explanation for that but we will talk in just a few moments. Now after having the units connected via Wi-Fi what I did was to connect the three units so all of them connected via Ethernet cable with Ethernet backhaul and in terms of results on the same room Without surprises, we were achieving 500 megabits per second on download and 150 on upload, which is the maximum. If I move to the second bedroom, we will see a small drop. So we were achieving 400 megabits per second on download and 100 on upload. So we can notice here more than we did notice with the unit connected via Wi-Fi. Now, if I move to balcony, then I was able to achieve 290 megabits per second on download and 150 on uploads. And moving to the third bedroom, again, I was getting 143 megabits per second download and 100 on upload, more or less. But with the exception, once again, that sometimes I would lose signal. And this happened not many times, but I was able to replicate once or twice when I did move myself away from the door and then move once again. I do believe that what was happening is that I was getting signal from the units on the first floor and that's why we have seen the speeds increase. But at the same time, when I did some movements on the third floor, I believe that the phone would get confused and connect to this unit right over here and that would cause the disconnection. This was not very serious because then I move to this way and it would find this stronger signal and it would connect. But anyway, these were the results that I got. I also tested out the end off with three units, but this, in this case, I did use the first floor and ground floor up and down. And the result was more or less the same that I did got on the uh, units that I did test out down below. So in terms of end off, it's not the fastest, as I said, but it works really well. And in a normal situation, I would say that you won't notice. Now, one thing that you will notice is the app. We have seen the app here. TP-Link has a couple of apps for their routers. This one we will use the Deco, which is very similar to ones that we have used. Now, the TP-Link is really featured rich. It shows whether the decos are connected via cable or Wi-Fi, which is something really simple, but it's really handy so that I can check if my connection is correctly, if it's properly connected, because if there's something wrong on my Ethernet connection, it will show as connected via Wi-Fi or disconnected at all. And we will be able to troubleshoot with just one simple thing on the app, which is really, really cool. Now, other information that we will find there for example, how many clients per unit we are connected and then we can see which client it is. We will also have full network management, far better than any ISP router that I've seen. And although browser access is available, in my opinion, the mobile app is so complete that 
I don't really see the need to use the browser. So in conclusion, if you are wondering if this is the right solution for you or this is the right solution for you, before you decide, I would suggest that besides watching this video as you just did, watch this one right over here so that you can have a better idea of the penetration that this one does. And also watch the one that I did about the Archer R5, which is the thin one that I'm using as well. And I will share with you how I'm using these units right over here and what setup do I have to have coverage on all my house, which has a total of 480 square meters open area. Of course, it has more because of the floors and whatnot. But to decide if this is the best scenario or this is the best scenario, especially because the price is the same, I would say that it depends. Now, for a large area with a lot of barriers, then I would say that this is the best option that we can get and having in mind that even if we get this one right over here and with time we see ourselves limited i always have the option to add one deco unit or one r5 or another gx75 and have my range increased which is something really really cool but the point is that if the space is large and i do have walls and barriers then this one will do a much better job than this one on the other hand if i do have a large space but i do have these units placed strategically where i do be able to avoid those barriers either with wi-fi connection or wired which is the best then this might be a good option now one of the best options that we can have is that if the area is really really large but if i do have connections to connect via ethernet cable then i can connect one right over here i can connect the other one on the other end and then this one right over here on another end i can grab another unit and put it on another hand as long as i do have connections i can keep on connecting them they will create the mesh and then with my phone or my laptop i can go around and they will do the roaming without any issues whatsoever another example is that if you have a three-story house and if we don't have connections on all of the floors if we connect one of each of these and probably one more via Wi-Fi, because I am limited in terms of the Ethernet connections that I have, then they will do a better job than just having one of these because they will communicate between them on the floors and then on each floor, this one will send a good signal. Now, the signal, as we have seen, is not as good as this, but it will get a larger area at this moment right over here on this house i'm using two of these one is on the ground floor which will give signal through everything or almost everything and then also on the front yard i also have another one on the first floor and on the first floor is more than enough with a great signal and maximum speed on every single place of the house they are connected so i only have one mesh wi-fi and then i've got two of these working one of which is right over here on my office near the window and it's pushing signal to the backyard the pool area and giving me almost maximum speeds right over there including on that spot where i do have the pool pump house and i do have a lot of smart devices spread around the house so it's really really cool and the other one i do have on the kitchen area which is one of the difficult areas to achieve so i do have one as a satellite it will grab the signal from this one here wi-fi and it will push the signal to my front yard which is really really cool and i'm not talking about 10 megabits per second i'm talking about any neighbor that comes near to my house will be able to achieve 300 or 400 megabits per second which is really really cool now i would suggest to take a look at this one as well i will leave a link down below because in terms of speeds and in terms of coverage although the price is more or less the same of these three units or this one here just a little bit cheaper it will give us in terms of coverage and in terms of speed faster speeds than these that we were seeing right over here. if you still have any questions leave down below i will answer as fast and as best as i can and sometimes if i don't even the community will help with feedback because a lot of the members of the community have gear such as this so it's a really friendly community that helps each other that being said if that was the case don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one